Hey guys, Cas72 here. Hope everyone's doing well. Today I want to share with you how I keep my helmet, motorcycle helmet, clean and polished. And I figured today would be a perfect example because I haven't cleaned this helmet uh, for quite a while now. And I just kind of want to show you how it looks at this point before we do the cleaning. Um, as you can see, I got a couple of marks. Got a couple of marks on here, a little bit of mix bug residue, you know, the typical stuff you see and get when you have a helmet that you pretty much don't really clean constantly. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see all the little nicks and dirt and bug scratches and whatnot. But anyway, I want to share with you how I handle this as far as keeping it clean. Uh, summer's here planning on doing a lot of bike riding so I'm just kind of getting all my equipment prepped and ready and one of the things I like to have is a very nice shiny helmet um, so for this you're gonna need some alcohol a buffing pad and a wax applicator a microfiber cloth so that you can use with the alcohol and then really any kind of wax or uh, any kind of wax cleaner uh, I recommend. Personally, I like using Meguiar's because I use it for my cars as well. Um, cleaner wax. Also, I enjoy um, using Ultimate Compound by Meguiar's also afterwards for a nice, clean, long-lasting shine. So let's go ahead and get started. First, first off, I'd like to Dampen the helmet, you know, especially the heavy spots that really look like they're going to need to be cleaned pretty good. And just let it soak up for a few seconds. And then just give it a quick run once over. Some of these marks will um, come off. Others, um, they'll remain. That's where you're gonna need the wax to kind of just help with that. I don't see too many videos where people show how they maintain their helmets and I thought it'd be pretty cool if I just shared with people how I keep mine clean. Um, I've got two helmets actually. I've got this one here and then I also have a gray one. Um, this one I haven't really kept up too much so I really wanted to take some time and clean it. As you can see, for instance this mark, it's not coming out. It's an actual little mark on the helmet. We're going to have to work on that one a little more uh, as well as this one here. Hopefully the camera is picking it up pretty good. Uh, and then this one here. So we've got that scratch on the right side or mark. We got this one right here up on the top left um, area. And then we have, where did I see that other one? Oh, and then this one on the back right there. So once you've cleaned it with alcohol, you know, as much as you can, Really, the alcohol's purpose is just to get the bug residue off. Uh, the other markings that I just in, in showed you guys, that's going to require some good old elbow grease. That's where we're going to have to buff it and polish it. And hopefully, if those scratches are not deep enough, we can still save the helmet. Um, I'm just trying to get off this one real thick piece of bug residue right there. Is that bug residue or is that a scratch? Crap, that looks like a scratch. Okay, well, I've had this helmet for a while, so that's understandable. Okay guys, so once we got that done, um, you can moisten the buffing pad 
I don't like to do that. On a car I would, but on a helmet I won't because having a rougher um, dry cloth will actually help actually rub this a lot better. Um, since it's a helmet, I'm not too concerned about the finish as long as it looks pretty much polished, it's, I'm happy with. But on a car, obviously you wanna really um, do the right thing and not scratch the uh, clear coat. So we're gonna go ahead and apply some cleaner wax. Shake it up pretty good. A little goes a long way, so you don't really need to put too much on it. And we're just gonna focus on those major um, scratches that I put, showed you guys a little while ago. We're gonna work on the one in the front first that I showed you. And as you can see, pretty much already gone. And just to show you, we're gonna go ahead and focus on this one now. Um, hoping you guys can see that. It's right there. We're gonna go ahead and focus on that one next. You know, this helmet didn't cost too much, but you know, if you had like a real expensive helmet, I definitely would think you guys would wanna take good care of it. You know, some of these helmets are four or $500, you know. Um, personally, I just like taking care of the stuff I have. So that's why I wanted to share this with y'all. Like I said, summer's here. And because of that, um, I'm definitely gonna be taking out the bikes a lot more and I kind of just want to have the helmets looking nice and shiny. Sorry if I sound a little out of breath, but I just got through cutting the front and backyard of the house and I wanted to make this video before it got later. So um, there's the results. As you can see, totally gone. And now we're gonna focus on this one right there. doesn't take too long. I, I like using this. It does a good job. Um, we're going to go ahead and focus on, where is it at? That scratch right there. I kind of got the camera in a very awkward position. I'm not used to doing videos this way, so that's why I'm having a little trouble getting the uh, helmet right at the perfect angle so that you guys can see what I'm doing and not to mention uh, I have it zoomed just a bit so you guys don't catch the tripod as you can see there's the results of that that there unfortunately is a scratch Whoop. I just noticed that but we can easily get rid of that with a little tiny uh, marker and uh, paint it black, you won't even notice it. And then I think we had one more on this side. As you, if you can see that, it's kind of right there. I'm just gonna give that a once over. It'll just be a real quick video, guys. Just, you know, I like sharing things that I do with y'all. Sometimes it might be beneficial. Sometimes you guys might have a better way of doing something. If you do, I sure would like your comments so I can learn something new. I'm always up for learning something new. And then once you've gone over the main scuffing marks that you noticed, now's the time to just give the whole helmet a once over you know just kind of look everywhere focus on it just see kind of what's going on see i didn't notice that one right there i just noticed that one so let's see if we can get that buffed out let's see if we can get that off um 
I've got another video coming up, guys, with helmets. Uh, it has to do with a uh, inside speaker install. So when you're listening to music, um, I kind of made my own. I'll show you on a, on this video that I'll be making. Hopefully, I'll put it up pretty soon. Um, but uh, the quality is just not good. So I went ahead and got this other product, and that's what I want to share with you guys the effects and the sound quality but today for right now we're just going to focus on uh, getting this helmet nicely polished and cleaned up ready for some summer summer riding okay I think that just about does it and we're going to go ahead and uh, Give it a quick, nice little polish with this microfiber cloth. I can tell you already, it's looking awesome. Okay, and there's the end results, guys. There's the front, left side, right side, crown. Like I said, I'm gonna fix that here in a minute. And then the back. Real nice, got rid of all the markings. Um, I'm gonna do one more go right here because you can't really see it, but there's a real fine uh, imperfection there, and that's gonna bother me, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can buff that out with a little bit more elbow grease. Ah. Okay. That's about as good as it's gonna get. You can't really see it. Plus, we still have to go over it with the um, the actual finished, the wax. Okay, that takes care of that. So, we're done with the cleaner wax part of it. And now we're ready for the uh, polishing compound. give it a good shake. This time we're going to flip the pad over and use the dry side, not the side that we use the cleaner wax on, but the dry side. Oops, a little too much came out there. All right, and then just go ahead and go over the whole helmet. Now what this does, it's got a great smell to it too. It smells like, it smells like cotton candy. But anyway, um, this one here, uh, you just want to get, you don't have to rub really hard. You're basically just putting a layer on top of the helmet. And what this does, I found, what I found on my helmets, what this helps is with like bug residue, um, Yes, it'll get on the helmet, but it comes off so much easier because it doesn't really mount to the helmet because you've got that that nice, uh, I guess, barrier of this compound. So it doesn't really let it penetrate the, uh, the helmet. So it makes stains and grime and stuff come off a lot easier. And then what you want to do at this point, give it a few seconds, uh, you know, Less than a minute, it just doesn't take that long. You're putting a real thin coat. Let it, you know, haze up a little bit and then we're gonna polish it. Just kind of air dry it a little bit.
that's probably good enough. Find another clean side of the cloth and then just go ahead and give it a nice little polish. I might put some custom graphics on this. I'm not sure yet, but I was thinking about it. Um, I might do that on a future video if I decide to do that. It'll be my own design, my own cutout. Um, I just haven't really sat down to draw a nice template of what kind of design I'd like on it. Or I might just keep it black. Um, so we, as you can see, here's the finish. Earlier we had a pretty bad mark right here. We had a pretty long one here. We had one in the back somewhere around here. And I think there was one somewhere in this general area. But as you can see, they're all gone. Can't even tell. Helmet looks nice and shiny. Almost brand new actually. And I've had this one for probably four or five years, maybe six years now but I try to take care of my stuff as best I can. Um, I do see, I don't know if y'all can see that, there's like two little marks right there, like right there. I'm gonna see if I can, I don't know if those are scuff marks that I might not have gotten, so let me try that one more time. Again, we're gonna flip the pad around to use the side that we used the wax cleaner on. Actually, it was this side. I'm gonna try one more time to buff it out as best I can. If not, then it's, unfortunately, it'll just have to remain, but um, you can barely see it. It's not a big deal. It's just that I know it's there, so it bothers me. Okay. Actually, yeah, I did get rid of them. Sweet. See that? They're not there anymore. So that actually helped out. Um, and then, of course, since we took the wax off, we got to flip it around. Now we got to put the com compound on there, the wax compound. And again, uh, I do this because it helps keep the the luster of the finish of the helmet. Um, it puts a nice little protective barrier on there so that uh, bug residue and, you know, marks and debris are easier to buff off and take off when you're ready to clean your helmet again. And just let that dry off a little bit. Let it haze up. Okay, give it a real quick once over. And there you go, nice. So yeah, like I said guys, um, just wanted to share that with you. That's how I maintain my helmets and keep them nice and shiny all year long. And uh, rock. Honestly, I only do this about once a year. However, you know, in some circumstances where I've done some real long distant traveling and there's a whole bunch of residue and bug debris on the helmet, I'll end up doing it um, much sooner than a year or once a year. But uh, hopefully y'all found this video helpful. And again, like I said, these are the two, two products that I use. Hopefully the camera's got that in focus. And then of course your typical alcohol and a microfiber cloth to get all the bug residue off prior to putting the wax on. So okay guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Just a real quick one today. 
and uh, hope you enjoyed. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Cast 72, peace out.